guys, uh, this is Indrashish and I'm back with another podcast, Law of Greatness. That's the name of my podcast. And uh, today I'm going to introduce you to a lady who has inked this on my hand. Well, she is expert in what she does and she is none other than Tuhi who owns Tuhi Studio. Hi, I'm Tuhi. Uh, I'm the owner of Tuhi Status Studio which is in London, Kolkata. And yes, I'm the first female tattoo artist of Kolkata. That's my introduction. Yeah, brilliant. So Tuhi, I want to know where exactly this journey uh, started. But uh, tattoo artist from the very young age, how exactly it all started? Uh, it started when I was in college, uh, Bhavanipur College graduation. I actually got to know someone who had tattoos at that point of time. Okay. And at that point of time, 2010-11, there were very few people who had tattoos and there were very few tattoo artists in Kolkata. So I was given a chance by my mom that either you get a piercing done or a tattoo done. So at that point of time, in order to get a tattoo done, I was doing my research and all. And uh, at that point of uh, time, uh, there was this thing called LA Ink and TLC and all. So I started watching it. Uh, so through that, I got the inspiration of uh, like there's something called tattooing. That it's a form of art, and I always love to draw. So that's kind of an inspiration to me and then I thought that it's a very different form of art and since I used to love to paint, I still love to paint and all. Uh, that's an integral part of becoming a tattoo artist. So I think that was the start of my journey, getting to know what is tattooing, uh, the fact that there are no female tattoo artists in Kolkata, I got to know through that. Because when I, I wanted to get a tattoo done, I did not find any female tattoo artist. Right. Like when you are a girl and you want to get a tattoo done, you will... I looked for a female tattoo artist because I thought I'll be comfortable mm -hmm. with a female. So when I tried finding one, I saw that there was none. And that was quite intriguing. I was like, why isn't there any female? Mm -hmm. Like. What is there in it that a female cannot do and a male, all the male tattoo artists are doing? Right. So that kind of uh, encouraged me or intrigued me to get into the art and do the research and you know just try and learn it. So that was the start. So uh, you started because you took it up as a challenge. Yes. Right. So I want to know that the first day or the first client. When you have a tattoo or a tattoo, so were you nervous? Did it, because it, getting inked is a permanent thing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, whoever starts to tattoo and all, there is something called a practice skin. We have a practice skin. Uh, but ultimately, we have to tattoo on human skin. That's right. very different from practice skin because the elasticity is different. The entire base is different. So first when I tattooed uh, a human skin, it was me myself because that's like that's like the easiest thing to do because if I do a wrong tattoo on myself, no one will tell me anything. Right. And first of all, that's permanent. So I could not, I couldn't have taken a risk of tattooing someone else and screwing up the <laughs> thing. So I was like, okay fine, let me tattoo myself. So I tattooed myself and it was very difficult because first of all, I want to say yes, tattoos are painful. Not like unbearably painful, but it is painful obviously. It is. It's done with needles and all. It burns, it's not like you are breaking your bones or something, but it is a bit uh, painful and also to manage pain and the art and all, it was difficult for me. I was scared because I did not know how much needle am I supposed to put inside of me and all. That was a very exciting thing because that was the first step towards doing what I want to do and on human skin and I have had that thing in my mind that I cannot erase it. Right. Once it's done, it's done. It's done. See. Yeah, it's it's done. So yeah, it was interesting. So but I was a guinea pig all by myself, so that, that that's a good thing. So Tuhi, what I want to know is that uh, considering you're the first female artist, tattoo artist in town, um, is it an advantage or kind of a disadvantage for you? 
uh, everything has its pros and cons. Being a female tattoo artist also has its pros and cons, obviously. Advantage to follow, like when I started tattooing, frankly speaking, there, there were not much of a competition. There wasn't much. Because, uh, as I said earlier, uh, on a form tattoo artist, mm -hmm. you know, so when I started I got the time, I took my time, uh, there was not much competition in the sense female tattoo artist Chirona so I got a lot of female tattoo clients, like tattoo clients then uh, and another thing is corn sami in Polvo obviously because it's in Kolkata and people are very judgmental like whenever like you want to get a tattoo done in the studio, people say, who is the tattoo artist? Like, they are talking to me, but at the end, they are like, who is the tattoo artist? May I look at him? And I'm like, you're talking to the tattoo artist, you know? And they are like, oh, you're a female. How can you be a tattoo artist? So, that was kind of a shocking thing. So, how do you deal with such questions and interactions? Just normally, I think, because, see, they are my clients or my potential clients, so I should not be so called, uh, you know, sarcastic towards them. So, but I'm very blunt. Like when someone is asking me, Ki, oh, you are a female tattoo artist, you are the tattoo artist, I'm like, yes, I am the tattoo artist, how does it matter? So, I always ask them, like, if I would have been a transgender, would how, how does that affect my work? Like even if I would have been a transgender and my work would have been shitty or if I would have been a male tattoo artist, if my work is not good, then would you would you be like comfortable getting a tattoo done from me? I don't think so. So I always ask my clients, don't see my gender, see my work. Kind of if work. you like my work, then get it done. The gender should not matter of any artist. Like I am a tattoo artist, it, the gender shouldn't be a matter for me. If I would have been a painter or so anything, so if how how, exactly how, how is yeah like the gender shouldn't come in between. So I just deal with them bluntly. I have had people asking me, ki, oh you don't look like a tattoo. <laughs> like you don't have too many piercings. You don't have like. I, I don't have too many tattoos, I'm not like a goth chick or something <laughs> like that. But at the moment they meet a tattoo artist, they have that perception that I'll be uh, wearing black lipstick and I'll be doing drugs, <laughs> I'll have multiple boyfriends. So it, it's all judgmental. So it's like you just deal with them and you just be very nice to them. I think I am a person who is nice, so I'm nice to them and they are like, Oh, you don't look like a tattoo artist. I'm like, you see my work, and then if you are happy, get it done. Otherwise, don't. That's all. Well, guys, uh, let me tell you one thing. Uh, I personally went uh, to get my first tattoo out here, as you can see. I don't know whether you can see it. Uh, I, I met Tuhi for the first time, and I was nervous. I'll be very honest. But again, she kind of showed the designs herself, and she took care of the entire thing in a proper way, hygienic environment. Everything is done very carefully by her. I mean, Pura Jinishta Nije monitor kore and she takes care of the client and gives proper guidance. Jate a tattoo ta punorakum skin infection and change na hoy, but you do not face any future problem. So I will always recommend to he if you are planning to get uh, you know any kind of tattoo on your body out there. So uh, to he, I want to know that a tattoo studio it, it is an entrepreneurial journey as well. So. I'm sure uh, like all the entrepreneurs, even I'm an entrepreneur, so family support is very important. So how exactly your family supported you when you told or shared your idea of starting your own uh, tattoo studio? Did they uh, support you or anyone questioned you? How exactly it went? That is a completely different story altogether. I belong from a conservative Bengali Khedo family. My father is a doctor, my mom is a housewife. At Matro me, I have done my master's in journalism, master communication. Then I got into a job, PR company. Did. I did a job for six months just to make my parents happy. 
বিকজ আমি যখন বলি যে ট্যাটু আমি করব তখন বাঙালি পরিবার থেকে এলে যেটা হয় আর মেয়ে হয়ে যেটা হয় যে বাবা বলো কি যে না তুমি ডাক্তারি তো করলে না তুমি লয়ারও হলে না তুমি তাহলে বাইতে বসে তুমি টিউশনই পড়ো এরকম আর বাট ট্যাটু আটে হতে ঠিক আছে মানলাম ব্যাপারটা কিন্তু সামওয়্যার আউট দ্য ট্যাটু ওয়াজ অলওয়েজ অ প্যাশন তো আই ওয়ান্টেড টু পার্সিউ ইট বাট চাকরিটা করার পর আমি দেখলাম যে আই উইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি ফিলিং ভেরি ফ্রাস্ট্রেটেড বিকজ সামওয়্যার অ্যাট দ্য ব্যাক অফ মাই মাইন্ড অ্যান্ড হ্যা আই হ্যাভ দ্য থিং যে আমাকে ট্যাটু করতে হবে বা আই ওয়ান্ট টু ডু দ্যাট আই ওয়ান্ট টু পার্সিউ ইট বাট আই উইজ ভেরি আনশিওর অফ দ্য ফ্যাক্ট যে বিজনেস অর মানে এটা যদি আমি বিজনেস টার্মসে করি তাহলে কীরকম হবে বিকজ কলকাতাতে কোনো ফিমেল ডাক একটা মেল হলে একটা সাপোর্ট পাওয়া যায় বা ইউনো জাজমেন্ট থেকে ওই সোসাইটির জাজমেন্টের থেকে তুমি বেঁচে যাও সামহাও বাট ম্যান ইউ আর ফিমেল ইউ হ্যাভ টু গো থ্রু সার্টেন জাজমেন্টাল থিং সো আই উইজ নট ভেরি শিওর বাট ওয়ান ফাইন ডে সামথিং হ্যাপেন্ড ইন মাই অফিস অ্যান্ড দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ ইন্সপায়ার মি অর কাইন্ড অফ গেভ মি ইউর কোর্স কি লেটস বাঙ্ক দ্য অফিস ভাই লেটস লাইক বাঙ্ক দ্য জব I did not give them any notice or anything. I just went back home and I was like, you know, I'm quitting the job. I'm not going to, you know, come to office from tomorrow. And yeah, uh, I quit. I did quit the job in 2014, uh, March. And I opened my studio in Salt Lake in the year 2014, April. So within that one month, I took the decision, okay, I have to open the studio. There were certain people who inspired me, who helped me, who helped me part it. You can try it. Uh, my father was dead against it because obviously doctor me for way my tattoo studio for the kono din bhabe ho ni. So he was like, na tu chaal se bhabe na tattoo studio. Ja hoy anti bangali bori bade. So uh, I took the risk thanks to my mom. She was like risk ka ne. So I will always want people to. Uh, no or i will want to say to people ki please do take risk because if you do not take risk you will not know tumi success ta paabe ki paabe right. if you are too scared ami jani je it's not always easy i will say because i was a girl or me i am a girl and i did not have any family issues or something je baite taka dite hobe oi byapar ta chilo na bole hoyto ami ektu risk ta nite perechila but i will say if you want to do something all by yourself you have to take a risk because porbotti kare jate eta na hoy je bhai i did i could have done it if only i would have done, taken that risk don't have that oi uh, oi repent ta sara jibon theke jabe oi tar jonno i was like na let me take the risk let me give it at least a year absolutely i i can relate with you tohi because even বাঙালি পরিবার যে জিনিসটা এই এই সেন্টিমেন্ট ইভেন আই হ্যাভ বিন অফেক্টিভ অফ দিস পিপল কোয়েশ্চেন মাই স্যানিটি যে ছেলে এম বি এ পড়ে কেন বিজনেস করতে যাবে কেন কর্পোরেটে চাকরি করবে না সো আই থিঙ্ক অ্যাবসলুটলি আই ডুডি স্টেটেড দ্য ফার্স্ট স্টেপ ওয়ার্ড সাকসেস ফর অচিভিং গ্রেটনেস ইজ টু টেক দ্যাট স্টেপ তারপরে সাকসেস আসবে কি আসবে না দ্যাট ইজ দ্য রেড অ পার্ট বাট ইউ হ্যাভ টু টেক দ্য ফার্স্ট স্টেপ Well, coming back to the uh, round of questions, to be, it's a fun question. Being a tattoo artist, how many tattoos do you have for yourself? I haven't counted it like that, but... Is, is it like fun, like you feel like, oh, I, I, I want to make a tattoo artist? No. Uh, I don't know if I'm a client, but I don't know if I'm a client, but I don't know if I'm a client. A tattoo, since it is permanent, mm-hmm. I think you should always give it a call, because it is permanent. You shouldn't be like, okay, uh, it is time to ask you for it. Because uh, six months down the line, one year down the line, when you have a voice bar, it will stay with you for life. Right. Actually, tattoos are something that is going to burn with you when you die. Right. So that's the only thing that you are going to carry with yourself. So I always ask my clients, think and do it. Always try to get something done that you can relate to. Not in terms of a space. এই ফেসটাতে আমি এই ডিজাইনটা ভালো লাগছে বিকজ ইউ আর গোন টার্ন ওল্ড সো থার্টি ইয়ার্স ফর্টি ইয়ার্স ফিফটি ইয়ার্স ইউ উইল টার্ন ওল্ড সো ইউ শুড গেট এ ট্যাটু ডান দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান ইউ ওন্ট রিপেন্ট 
because I do get a lot of clients that are depend on how the name is written, girlfriend, boyfriend, the name is written, then cover up for the other. That's like a bad experience because they don't want to see the name, uh, they don't want to, uh, you know, get the memories of out of it, and also they get another tattoo done on top of it. Uh, that's the mess. So, uh, Japan, where are the clients actually? Where are they? ड्रईंग डिपेंड कर get into that getting inked mode until or unless you are absolutely sure about it don't go for it karan ji in the long run it can be a bit challenging for you so uh, okay i'm just curious about one thing je uh, you said that you have many tattoos all over your body da je tattoo kono tattoo shonge close emotion because i believe that without emotion uh, tattoo generally I'm an active mature person will not get that so being a tattoo artist own tattoo is not a special emotion which is a special thing um first of all uh, the number of tattoos that i have like half of my left hand is tattoo that's a geometric tattoo i love it because that has been done by two artists that i really adore um rajon pula and nepal and i can say kapoor ke So I met them both in Nepal during a convention, and I got it done. So it's a beautiful piece, and I love geometric because geometric tattoos are some geometric ornamental tattoos are something which is very like timeless. You can carry it out when I can carry it out when when I'm turning like old. Right. With age, I will be able to like say, okay, okay, that I have a tattoo, I like that. So and one like the best tattoo that I have on myself is my mom's toe. टू स्टूडियो So, की कोड़े हमें स्टार्ट करा हुई थी, तो हमारे की 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 कोड़ा हुई थी, व्हाट आर द डूज एंड डोंट्स फॉर मी। टैटू स्टूडियो तो अपने कोड़ा खोला हुआ थी, व्हेन यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू आर गुड एट व्हाट यू आर डूइंग, बिकॉज़ आई कॉन कंपटीशन तो ओनली माने अभी जब हम स्टार्ट करे चला प्रथमे ही बोल लाम So when you are trying to open a tattoo studio, it has its pros and cons. Because when you are running a tattoo studio, it's business. So you have that business mentality. Uh, artist who a business to na thi, why na ba karta? So it's very difficult because I have been uh, the sole person running my studio since I started. Sometimes it gets to me like. Gets to me in the sense, so artist level ta the it encloses because business is different, and you have to earn money, you have to pay the bills and all. Artists don't think of all those things, right. so it's a bit difficult to balance. So people who want to open a tattoo artist, 
think of it in terms of business more than being a tattoo artist because if you want to work then have your own private studio i think that will give you that um, freedom so friends now it's quite clear to you যদি তোমরা ট্যাটু স্টুডিও বানাতে চাও নিজেদের যদি তোমাদের মধ্যে সেই ধরনের প্যাশন থাকে হোয়াট আর দ্য ডুজ অ্যান্ড ডোন্টস ইউ নিড টু ফলো ইউ নিড টু হ্যাভ দ্যাট প্যাশন টুয়ার্স হোয়াট ইউ আর ডুইং বাট অ্যাগেন ওয়েন ইউ আর গেটিং ইন টু বিজনেস ইউ হ্যাভ টু থিঙ্ক ইন আ ডিফারেন্ট ওয়ে ইন আ রেশনাল ম্যানার কারণ যে ইউ হ্যাভ টু পে দ্য বিলস ইন ইয়ার ওভার ডে সো গেটিং ব্যাক টু দ্য সেট অফ কোয়েশ্চেন্স আই ওয়ান্ট টু নো দ্যাট ইউ শেয়ার দ্যাট ইউর ড্রাইভিং ফোর্সেস ইউর মাদার and you also share all the challenges uh one special message that you want to give out to all the viewers because amader a channel ta hocche law of greatness so it's it's all about you know spreading positivity and about uh following your dreams so being an entrepreneur being a successful entrepreneur uh because i mean he's a personally a very happy client uh so I will request you to go ahead and share with my viewers or audience or listeners je what are the qualities that they need to have to follow their dreams and make their entrepreneurial goals come into reality first of all try to take the risk data uh, when I, I i i took it because i wouldn't have been an entrepreneur if i wouldn't have taken the risk so people are usually scared to take the risk ki whether they will get the money out of it or not so first of all take the risk then obviously be practical we need to know we need to be confident ki you can do that because if you are impractical and you are just jumping into a business there are a lot of different kinds of businesses it's just not that way so if you are just jumping into it thinking okay i have the money and i can just survive no that's not the thing you should have the plan you should be confident about what you are doing no matter what it can be tattoos it can be paintings it can be anything handicrafts and all anything so you need to make a plan out of it and then jump into it and yes take the risk because planning taka ta thakleo log jon bhabe je ab par ho to so that's when the risk never got to try so it's like a balance you need to be practical at the same time you need to take the risk right well i i think it's it's a very valid input that you need to be practical as well as you need to take risk because without that you cannot progress in your life well with that as we conclude this show for today i'm signing off this is me indrashish and uh, we have Tuhi, uh, the owner of Tuhi Studio, I will strongly recommend if you are planning to get a tattoo for yourself, please contact Tuhi. The contact details will be given below. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my Facebook page. The links will be given below. Thank you.